This week's exercise is a fingerstyle funk groove that works over a D dominant 7th chord. Let's take a look at how to play it. So on the first beat of the first bar we're going to play four semiquavers, we're going to play two Ds at the 5th uh, fret of the A string and we're going to follow those Ds with two ghost notes. Moving into the second beat of the bar we're going to drop down to the F sharp at the 2nd fret of the E string. We're going to play that note, follow it with two ghost notes on the E string, and then we're going to play the, the G at the 3rd fret. So, so far, if I put beats 1 and 2 together, we have this. And again. Now, so far we've played continuous semiquavers, and we're going to have a very short respite from that. In the uh, third beat, we have a semiquaver rest at the beginning of the beat. Then we're going to play two ghost notes, and then we're going to play the G sharp at the fourth fret. So semiquaver rest, two ghost notes, and then the G sharp. Uh, so let me play you beats one, two, and three all together. <laughs> Now that G sharp is going to lead us directly into the fourth beat of the bar. We're going to hammer on from the G sharp into an A. That's going to be the first note of beat four. So we have the A, uh, then we're going to have a ghost note on the A string. We're then going to play the C at the third fret and then bar across to play the F natural uh, at the third fret of the D string. Okay, so I'm going to play you beat four, but I'm going to do the hammer on from the G sharp leading into it. And again. Okay, let's hear bar one in its entirety. Okay, so before we move on to the rest of the exercise, let's just briefly talk about the, uh, uh, the notes that are being used here. So we're representing a D dominant seventh chord. We're obviously starting on the root note D. We drop down to F sharp, which is the major third of the chord. And then we walk chromatically upwards to the A, which is the fifth of the chord. So we've got the three main chord tones represented there, root, third, and fifth. Now we've also got the seventh in the, uh, from the dominant seventh chord, which is the, the C, and we hit that on the, uh, on the fourth beat of the bar, if you recall. So we're actually using all of the chord tones from the D dominant seventh chord here, which is why the line's gonna sound really, really strong and represent the sound of that chord really well. Okay, now moving on, uh, the second bar is exactly the same as the first. We're gonna jump directly into bar three here. Now, this bar is almost the same as the, as the previous two as well. Uh, the only difference is what happens on the fourth beat of the bar. So we have the hammer on into the A, as usual, so that brings us on to the fourth beat. We then have a semiquaver rest, and we use that as an opportunity to position shift into the, uh, into the upper register of the bass. And we're going to finish off beat three by playing some chromatic approach notes to F sharp. Okay, so F sharp is going to be the first note of the fourth bar, F sharp at the 11th fret of the G string this is, and we're going to approach that using double chromatic notes, so the two notes directly below it. So that's going to be E, F natural, and then F sharp. Okay, so bar three is going to sound like this. <laughs> That's going to lead us on to the F sharp at the beginning of, uh, of bar four. Okay, so moving on to the uh, fourth, fourth and final bar of the exercise, we hit the F sharp, which did that chromatic walk into it. We then instantly play an open D string, and then we play double chromatic notes into the D at the 12th fret of the D string. So the open D string is, is uh, used for kind of two purposes here. It gives us an opportunity to move our fingers uh, while still hearing a note. And uh, it's obviously the root note of the underlying D dominant seventh chord as well. Uh, similarly, the, the chromatic approach notes to the D are serving a dual purpose here. So the C is, uh, is not only an approach note, it's also the seventh of the chord. Okay, we're going to carry on this approach now. 
We're going to follow that D at the 12th fret with another open D string and we're going to use uh, the open string as a, an opportunity to position shift back down the neck and we're going to play chromatic approach notes now to the 5th of the chord which is A and that's at the 7th fret of the D string. So the approach notes are going to be G, G sharp and then on to the A. We're going to do this one final time, open D string and then we're going to play E, F natural and those are approach notes into the lower F sharp at the 4th fret of the D string. And then the final note of the exercise is going to be the C down at the 3rd fret. Like so. And at that point the line repeats. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed the latest instalment in my Bass Lick of the Week series. Don't forget that as usual you can download the PDF worksheet and backing track by clicking on the link below. And as ever, please do let me know your thoughts on this week's lick. I'll see you next week for another Bass Group.